Hey, it's Fern here. In this video, I want to talk all about calming signals. Okay, the great thing about dogs is they don't like conflict. They don't want it. Uh, I don't care what you've heard, dogs do not like conflict. They want everyone to get along. They live in social groups together. So they, they want to get along, and they usually do. And they have these little devices in place that kind of help them facilitate everyone getting along, and those are called calming signals. And dogs do this rapid fire all the time, whether you know it or not. It's happening right now under your feet if there's dogs around you. Uh, so let's talk about some calming signals here so that you can understand them. Because when I learned this, I felt like I was, all of a sudden I understood the language of dog. I, I felt like I was in their conversation. So calming signals are very important and they can really open your world to reading behavior uh, in dogs quite a bit. So like I said, a calming signal is just a gesture that one dog makes to another dog, or it could be to a person, to either tell the other party that, hey, I'm friendly, everything's cool here, or if they sense that the other dog is a little uncomfortable, they will give a calming signal trying to calm them down. So one of the most common ones is a look away. So you'll see two dogs approaching each other, they never kind of look right at each other and go right into each other's face. No, they're going to go, I'm friendly, you're friendly, I'm friendly, you're friendly, I'm friendly, and they're going to keep breaking eye contact back and forth. That steady, steady eye contact can be a confrontation in the dog world. So they don't like to do that. So you'll see happy dogs meeting, doing constant lookaways, just assuring them that they're friendly. So you'll see that often. Or if, uh, if you're trying to discipline your dog and you're being a little grumpy to him, and uh, he senses that, you'll see that he won't even make eye contact with you. He'll keep looking away. And he's trying to just say, all right, all right, I get it. You know, I'm sorry, whatever. Uh, so it, you understand that he, he gets your point, and that should be the end of your discipline right there. He understood. Um, so, but, but you'll see that a lot. Another one that's very common is a shake. You'll see this in like pack situations where the energy can get quite high. Dogs will do like a full body shake and you, you think that they're just itchy. But actually 95% of the time that's actually a, a comic signal, a communication to the, the people or dogs around them trying to diffuse energy in a situation. So you'll see like dogs start playing and maybe it gets a little rough or a little heated and one dog is uncomfortable with that. He'll just pause, shake, and he'll just, the other dog will, will automatically kind of just lay off a little bit because he understands that that's, he's not comfortable and the other dog is just saying, hey, I'm not quite sure about this, you know, let's just take it down a notch. And it's just assuring that it's not, for, that it's not turning into something more than just play. You know, because once adrenaline kicks in, it can get a little nasty and if another dog's not sure, wait, wait, are we still playing? They're going to do some calming signals just to make sure and then the other dog will hopefully respond and they're like, yes, we're still playing, that's cool. So, uh, look aways, shakes are the ones you're going to see the most. There's other ones like tongue flicks. Now tongue flicks can be a, an appeasement gesture or it can be a stress response, but a lot of times it'll be a calming signal where one dog recognizes another dog is uncomfortable and he's just trying to calm him down. Um, so that's another one. Paw lifts, you know, anything that kind of keeps the dog in motion is kind of reassuring everyone that, uh, that we're friendly and having fun. So I got some video to show you that I think you're going to like of some dogs giving some great calming signals. All right, check it out. All right, let's go back to our, our beagle and our puggle, these two, uh, these two full contact players. Now, they're going to play rough, and as uh, not surprisingly, the beagle is going to do something, uh, believe it or not, even too inappropriate for this puggle. And the puggle is going to let him know that you just messed up in a big way, and you're going to see a great example of calming signal. So they're playing great, but what happens is the beagle is going to grab an ear a little too hard, and the puggle's not going to like that. There it is. Got the ear, bites down a little too hard, and the puggle is pissed. And the beagle is in full retreat now saying, oh crap, I didn't mean to do that. And now the puggle is, is now over it, but look, the beagle will not even make eye contact with him. He's just so, he's just like, I'm sorry, I didn't really mean to do that. There's a shake by the puggle saying, hey, it's okay, I understand. But the beagle still wants to make sure he knows. Look at this, look away, look away, look away. All these look aways. And then, okay, we're cool to play. Really, really cool. Uh, it's one of my favorite, let's watch it in slow mode. I love it so much. So here we are, now, pissed off puggle. You don't want to ever piss off a puggle. And the beagle is just, I'm so sorry, I'm so, so sorry. And is just retreating, trying to get away. The puggle recognizes, okay, he understands, he didn't mean it. I see that he's making all these lookaways. That was an error. 
And to let him know that I understand it, I'm going to give a nice shake. Just letting him know, okay, I got it. You didn't mean that. But the, the, the beagle is still, that was, I really am sorry. Really, really so sorry. So then watch these lookaways. Just letting each other know we're still friends, right? I'm friends. You're friends? We're friends, right? Can we play again? Are we okay? All right. We're cool. Let's go. And then they play again, and then they're fine. So what could have been a possible conflict, they have all these comic things to let each other know. That was really just a mistake. We are still friends, and we can go play again. All right, look, pretty cool stuff, huh? See, if you look for these things, you're going to see them all over the place. And, you know, when I went out and shot videos in dog parks and doggy daycares and stuff, I was amazed how much I missed. You know, I would look back at the footage, and I would see comic signals all over the place that in the moment I just miss because it just looks like dogs being dogs. But it is very deliberate. They are trying to always assure everyone around them that we're having fun because they do like to all get along in a social group. All right? Hope you like that. And uh, if you want to check out some of my other videos and information, you can check me out at MakeDogsYourLife.com.